Sir Philip Green has been warned that he could still be stripped of his knighthood, and faces further questions from MPS, one year after the collapse of BHS. The veteran Labour MP Frank Field said Green had not done enough to keep his title amid lingering concerns over the 363M settlement struck between the retail tycoon and the pensions regulator. Sir Philip Green remains on the hook, he said. When Parliament comes back from the election we need to pursue the charge sheet from the pensions regulator against him and what the pensions regulator got in return, said Field. Once we have done that, we will realize how inadequate his settlement was. He has not done enough to hold on to his knighthood. It's rather good that Mrs. May is waiting for all the reports to come in before she makes a recommendation to the Honours Forfeiture Committee. The case against Sir Philip will continue in the new parliament, said Field. The comments come almost a year to the day since the department store chain plunged into administration, affecting 11,000 jobs and around 19,000 pension holders. Field, who chairs the Work and Pensions Committee, said. We must have a proper pensions bill in the new parliament to protect these assets. We cannot rely on the pensions regulator to protect these assets. We have got to think nimbly to find a way to protect these assets that doesn't bring down a firm with it. Green agreed to pay 363M to settle the BHS pension scheme in February. Less than the 571M deficit the firm was left with when it went bust in April last year. He said the move represented a significantly better outcome than if the scheme entered the Pension Protection Fund, PPF. The billionaire boss of Arcadia, notorious for his super yachts and lavish parties, made a voluntary personal cash payment of 343M towards improved benefits to the pension scheme members, and made available an additional 20M towards implementation costs. It came after the top shop owner was grilled by MPS over the sale of the chain, which he owned for 15 years before offloading it for £1 sterling to the former bankrupt Dominic Chapel in 2015. Chapel, who may still face a criminal investigation, reiterated his apology to the BHS staff and said he had nothing to hide. He said, it was not any of our doing, the pension deficit in BHS. Green took hundreds of millions out in 10 years, made little or no investment back, and stuck two fingers up at the pension trustees for 10 years. He has paid back only a fraction of what he took out. The government should also take a long hard look at its own policies, and be asking the question how has this happened, and why there are over 5,000 major companies which have massive pensions problems. The pension policies are not fit for purpose. Asked whether he had learned any lessons from the BHS debacle. Chapel added, don't have anything to do with green. Bring in new blood into the senior management to get honesty, loyalty and a fresh view on what is really going on at the top. Green declined to comment.